If you're setting up your Shopify store and want it to look professional right from the start, this tutorial is exactly what you need. Today, I'm walking you through how to fully customize the Horizon theme, one of the cleanest and most flexible themes out there. We'll go through everything step by step, from installing the theme to tweaking your product and collection pages, and even setting up a payment gateway. Now, before we dive in, I want to clear something up. There are a lot of Horizon theme variations floating around. Don't let that confuse you. Most of them are just reskins of the same base theme. Same layout, same options. So don't worry if your version looks slightly different. It all works the same way under the hood. To get things rolling, I've gone ahead and set up a Shopify store. It's got demo products loaded in, plus two sample collections, just so we have something to work with throughout the setup. Now, if you haven't created your store yet, no worries. There's an easy way to start. I've dropped an affiliate link in the description that gives you a three-month free trial on Shopify. That means you've got plenty of time to explore all the features, test out different designs, and build your store without any upfront costs or pressure. Just head over to ecomsensei.com slash Shopify to get started. Once you're inside your Shopify dashboard, look over to the left-hand side and click on Online Store. That'll take you straight to the Themes page. At the top, you'll see your current theme, which is probably Dawn, since that's Shopify's default. To get the Horizon theme, next to the View Your Store button, click on the button that says Import Themes. From there, select Visit Theme Store. That'll open up Shopify's full theme marketplace in a new window. In the search bar at the top, just type in Horizon and hit Enter. When you see it pop up, click on the theme to open its preview page. You can check out the features and even scroll through a live demo. When you're ready, go ahead and click the Try Theme or Add Theme button. Shopify will take care of the rest and install Horizon right into your theme library. Once it's added, head back to your theme library, find Horizon in the list, and click Customize. That's where we'll start editing your store's design and layout. This opens up the theme editor. Now, here's how the layout works. On the left-hand side, you've got all your settings and section controls. These are grouped into drop-down lists, and you can expand or collapse them to access things like headers, featured products, banners, footers, and more. Over on the right side, you'll see a live preview of your store. This is where you can visually see what the page looks like as you make edits. Every time you adjust something from the left panel, you'll see it update right away on the right. We're going to start with the overall branding. Click on Theme Settings in the left-hand side. Here, you can upload your store's logo. I recommend adding both your main logo and an inverse version. The inverse logo is used when your header is transparent so that your logo doesn't disappear against the background. I'm using a black logo for standard and a white version for transparent headers. While you're here, you can also pick your fonts and color scheme. If you're unsure about colors, a free site like coolers.co is super helpful for generating palettes. Try to base your color choices on your product packaging, logo, or general vibe. I'll stick with the default theme colors for now, but you can always change this later. As for fonts, I like using the Interfont, but you've got plenty of choices. Try a few out and see what feels right. Fonts are more important than people think. They can change the entire look and feel of your store. Next, let's configure the header. Click on the Header section in the left menu. This is where you control your logo placement and menu layout. I'll center the logo and leave the menu on the left, but you can play around with different arrangements. Now let's update your store's main navigation. Head back to your Shopify dashboard, and on the left-hand menu, click Content. Then go to Menus, and you'll see a list of your navigation options. Look for the one labeled Main Menu. That's the menu that controls the links at the top of your store. Click into it, and from here you can rename existing items, delete anything you don't need, like I'm removing catalog and contact, and add new links. For example, I'm adding one called Shop All and linking it to my full product list. Once you've made your changes, click Save, and you're good to go. Back in the editor, let's build the homepage. The first thing visitors will see is the hero banner. 
This is a large image or video with some text and a call to action button. I'm going to delete the default one and add a fresh hero section. Go to add section, then select something from the banners category. I'll pick the default hero banner for now. Upload an image that shows off your brand or a featured product. I'll use a lifestyle photo that fits the theme. Then use the positioning tool to make sure the focus is on your product or subject, especially on mobile. Now customize the layout. I'll align text to the left, adjust spacing between the headline, subheadline, and button, and pick a size that doesn't feel too cramped. Check the layout on mobile, too, super important. Most people will visit your site from their phones, so make sure everything still looks great there. Let's add a split showcase next. I want shoppers to easily choose between girls and boys. Add a split showcase section, upload images for both sides, and label them. On the left, I'll pick an image and label it girls. If the image crops weirdly, hit Edit Image and adjust the focal point until it looks clean. Make sure each image and button is clickable. Link them to their respective collections. Click on the image settings and set the links. Now let's move to the right side and repeat the same process. Click on the right block and upload an image that fits your boys category. And just like we did on the left, make sure to adjust the focal point of the image if needed. That way the subject stays nicely centered, especially on mobile or when the screen resizes. You want the focus to stay on the product or model, not off to the side or cropped out. Once that's done, change the label text to say boys. Next, go ahead and link it to your boys collection page so visitors land in the right spot when they click. Now for something cool, Shopify's AI generated sections. If you want something more unique than the default options, click add section, select custom section, then, go ahead and add a block, then click Generate. Write a prompt like, Create a featured section for best-selling products with rounded buttons and product info. Shopify will create a new layout just for you. You can even tweak the code if you want more control. Scrolling down to the footer. This is usually where your newsletter sign-up, social links, and legal info go. Keep it minimal. Change the wording. Update the footer menu and make sure you include links to your policy pages, privacy policy, terms of service, refund policy, etc. These are mandatory in most countries and help build customer trust. Before moving on, hit save to lock in your changes. Next, let's check out the product page. Go to a product in your store and hit preview. By default, it looks decent, but we can do better. Switch the media display from grid to carousel for a cleaner look. You can also adjust the aspect ratio to match your product images, square, portrait, or auto. To add icons that highlight key product benefits, the easiest way is to just duplicate an existing policy block. Go back to your product information section, Find one of the existing policy blocks or icon rows. Right-click, then just hit Duplicate. Now you'll have a copy of that block. Click on the icon, and you'll see a drop-down list of icons you can choose from. Things like a truck for shipping, a leaf for eco-materials, or a ruler for sizing and fit. Pick the icon that fits, and then update the text next to it to match. You can repeat this process as many times as you want to stack multiple benefits. It's quick, easy, and it gives your product page a really clean, professional feel. Scroll down, and you'll see the You May Also Like section. If you want to customize this or add additional sections, just go back to the editor and use the same method as the home page. Add, drag, and tweak sections until it looks good. Let's do the same thing on the collection page. Head to one of your collections in the editor, then click Add Section and choose a collection list. This lets you display multiple categories in one spot. 
You can click on each block to change the image, update the heading, and tweak the layout. Some themes also let you show featured products inside each collection preview, or just keep it simple with images and titles. Once you're happy with how it looks, hit save, and that's it. Now let's take care of the business side of things, starting with your payment gateway. From your Shopify dashboard, click on Settings. At the bottom left, then go to Payments. Here, you'll see a search bar where you can look up the payment method you want to use. Once you find your preferred option, just click Install, and Shopify will walk you through the setup process. Don't forget your domain. Go to Domains under Settings. You can buy one through Shopify or connect one you already own. Before we wrap up, let's quickly go over Shopify's pricing plans so you know what to expect after the trial. First, there's the basic plan, starting at $19 a month when billed yearly. It's great for solo entrepreneurs. You get 10 inventory locations, 24 7 chat support, and in-person selling tools. Third-party card rates start at 2%, and you can try it for just $1 a month for the first three months. Next is the Grow Plan at $49 a month. It's ideal for small teams and includes five extra staff accounts, the same inventory and support, and lowers your card fees to 1%. Then we have the Advanced Plan, starting at $299 a month. This one's for scaling businesses. You get 15 staff accounts, local storefront support, and even lower payment fees down to 0.6%. And finally, there's Shopify Plus at $2,300 a month, built for large, complex businesses with custom needs. No need to decide right away. You can explore all of this risk-free with the three-month trial at ecomsensei.com slash Shopify. And that's a wrap. You now have a complete Shopify store with a fully customized Horizon theme. Your homepage, header, footer, product and collection pages and payment system are all set up. You've got a great layout, modern design, and functional navigation. And with those new AI features, you can keep building without needing to touch any code. If you found this helpful, let me know. And remember, if you need demo products to test your layout, I can help with that too. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next tutorial.